topic of goals, okay. we were talking to a client this week about setting goals in the gym and not setting goals, but still wanting to exercise for like the mo- the endless benefits that exercise gives you, right? So this client doesn't necessarily have any specific aesthetic goals or weight goals or anything like that, but she really just wants to exercise regularly so that she lives longer, so that she avoids disease, so that she feels good. And she said that to me because on Tuesday I recorded a show about, what was my show about? (laughs) Changing your behavior. And the first thing that I mentioned was make sure you set clear and specific goals. And then she's like, well, 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 I don't necessarily have clear and specific goals, but I want it to be like a part of my behavior to exercise every day. Mm. And I was like, wow, that is a very good point. And I also don't really set clear and specific goals. So I just wanted to dive in a little bit about into what to do if you don't necessarily have an aesthetic goal, but you still want to exercise. If you just want to live a long, healthy life and just be a healthy person. Yeah. Yeah. So my suggestion is, and what I personally do, because I don't necessarily have a weight goal or I'm not trying to go to a bodybuilding competition or what is, what is it called? Bikini, that bikini competition that a lot of people strive for. But I just want to feel good and live forever, right? Mm. So what I try to do is set myself smaller goals that aren't necessarily like I'm exercising to lose five kilos. I just set goals that are usually performance-based or streak-based, which is or what streak-based. Oh. So I set a goal of... I want to move for a minimum of 35 minutes every day for as long as I can. And that's the goal to keep the streak going Mm. because then it keeps me motivated and I still am working towards something. It's still measurable. I can still see if I am making progress, like in creating that habit of working out every day. I think people underestimate that because you might get to 20 days and then you miss a day and you're like, oh, 20 was my maximum. And then next time you try it, you're like, you got something to work towards. Yeah, exactly. And even if it's 21 days in the year for something, it's just, yeah, I do like that quite a lot. It just gives you that little bit of extra competitive against yourself. Yeah, definitely. And a bit of accountability without having anyone to keep you accountable. Mm. And then the other thing that I have started doing this year, because I'm not really a goal setting kind of person in general, but then also that means that I don't really hit any targets because I'm not really aiming for anything you know I'm just flapping about doing my thing so I've started setting more performance based goals in the gym and not necessarily like squat 60 kilos or anything like that but just mobility things or movement things that I can't do or that I struggle with so an example for the last two weeks maybe is I've been working on Cossack squats so I go to the gym to train And before I do the workout, I'll spend 5, 10, 15 minutes, depending how long I've got that day, just working on Cossack squats, like working on my ankle mobility, how deep I can get, if I can do it with weight, without weight, are my hips tight? So then I have a very clear and specific goal that I'm working on, like I want to get as deep and strong in a Cossack squat as I can, so I still have something that I can see progress in, even though it's not necessarily a big overarching goal like losing five kilos it's still a goal and it's still motivating and it still gives you accountability and a reason to go back and exercise you know what i mean Mm. um just to touch on that last one that you said it's if you want to achieve some sort of flexibility goal mobility goal strength muscle gain whatever do whatever you want the very like for the very first thing that you do in the in your workout Mm. because that is what your body will focus on the most. So yeah, if your goal is to get more flexible in your hamstrings and touch your toes, if you do that before every workout for a minute and do just do different variations of that for every single workout, your body prioritizes that and yeah. makes that more important than everything else. So you get more flexible in that area. So I do I try and say that to my clients. So if you if you are like some people struggle to squat in depth. So Cossack squat is a good example of that, of trying to get good at, you know, squat depth. Try just holding a squat for a minute before every single workout and you you will get better. So, And yeah. I think almost having those little goals that you do like, 
or little habits, I suppose, that you're doing before your workout almost makes it a lot easier to just go and work out because you have something like you're looking forward to. And also a lot of the time, if you're just working out because you want to be healthy and feel good and stuff, it can get a little tedious, you know, because you're just going through the motions of going to the gym and just doing my workout. Whereas, I don't know, there's just something about choosing a specific movement to work on for me that is motivating almost. And like, if I don't feel like working out and I'm like, okay, I'm still going to go to the gym and just do like my Cossack squat exercises or ankle mobility to help improve my Cossack squat. I'm probably just going to work out afterwards because I'm already there. I'm already moving. I've already started. So it's, it's a lot easier to, I guess, stick to just having exercise for health purposes as well. Yeah. It's, do you think that's a coach thing? Because I know as a coach that me setting big goals to achieve, like if I want to run a marathon or something like that, like because I'm putting so much time and effort into everybody else's goals and helping them achieve that, I don't really have time and the motivation for my own goals. Does yeah, that make sense? Yeah, probably. Because neither of us really set big, dramatic, declarative goals yeah. like that in the gym. And the client you were talking about at the start is somebody in a similar... Like, She's also a coach, an aerial coach. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I wonder if that's just a coach thing. Because I do recommend to some people, like, set a big goal, like a big goal for the individual, whether it's, you know, complete a park run running the whole time, which is 5Ks, or do a marathon, or hike this, or lift this heavy. Mm. Like, it's good to have those goals for certain clients. But, yeah, as you were talking, I was sort of thinking back about over the life, say, since I opened the gym in... 2016 I haven't really had a personal goal I compete a little bit in CrossFit but that was just for fun it wasn't really I was dedicating time and effort to it yeah yeah it's just that's an interesting so. point yeah um oh yeah before we move on I just wanted to mention that we did create a goal setting workbook we just have been shocking at advertising it on social media but it's brilliant. It's the best. <laughs> so good. Um, so basically, I'll just run through like how it'll help you decide on a goal pretty much. So you'll list out a bunch of goals that you maybe want to achieve in the near-ish future. And then you nail down to like the top three, the top one, why you want to achieve that goal. Then really, why do you want to achieve that goal? How would you see yourself when you have achieved that goal and then like we give you steps to break it down into smaller behaviors and then steps to add those behaviors into your existing routine and stuff so that it's sort of seamless and you will start to work towards whatever the goal you it, the goal is that you choose without it being such a big deal mm. so highly recommend that you check that out i'm pretty sure it's called reach i'm not pretty sure i am sure it's called reach your potential it's on the top of our shop website yep. make sure you check that out it is it is well worth it, especially in goal setting because a lot of people don't set goals properly. Yeah.